with more people sharing their encounters with the recent hurricane, the magnitude of the damage left to, that to manage becomes more apparent. Local authorities and representatives are coming under intense pressure with claims some of the new scenarios were old complaints. For these youngsters, this is one of the thrills post-burial, especially in areas of St. Thomas, which are still without electricity, running water and internet. But all is not as crystal clear as it may seem with this channel of the Plantation Garden River. In fact, residents who live along the roadway are very upset. They say the deluge they endured during burial could have been avoided had their Member of Parliament, Michelle Charles, taken seriously the threat they spotted with the river misdirected and left to the mercy of the elements. I say it from a couple of years going back. I've been saying that the, the, the river won't judge out from up there, sir. Because I, I, I cast the, the, the water to come this way. While I over there, so the right riverbed. According to her, she had a backup plan with her ladder well positioned to climb to the highest point of her house, the roof, while the river viciously overflowed its banks during the weather system. But it's when an old community landmark was uprooted and laid to rest in the water that they saw the biggest danger unfolding. This other resident experienced knee-high water, which brought fear beyond her years in the area. She was expecting more outside help in terms of response to the dilemma. I've been living here for 30 you know, and for my come here, I never see not like this before. But listen, there was an almond tree here, you know, original almond tree, and the almond tree big and nice. I mean, actually, say, believe me, when the almond tree gone, um, Charles, Charles, the MP, come and see it for yourself. And from Obikin until now, me not bless my iPad. So right now, honestly, I'm upset. I'm Mr. Mattis alone as counsel, I say. Mr. Mattis alone as counsel, I say, come here, so. I mean, I have a program, I have a boss, I have a talk, I know about. Too much of this, man. Everybody has talked about politics, but it's all about the people. Also in Bath, this huge cavity in the roadway putting everyone at risk. They're very anxious because the recent corrective measures appear to be Band-Aid, which is right now even blocking immediate necessities for many areas. I have to drive close by the place, brother. I can't work. One truckload of sand and throw it, yes, sir. One truckload of mall with no wall. Just throw it, yes, sir. The rain comes, wash away everything and gone. So see there? So the thing set up. So we don't know what they're do. Somebody have to do something. I don't want to smile dead because smile soon dead. And the council the water truck pass here, so every day. And the water truck can't pass no more. GPS truck couldn't pass again with current. See there? It's rough. For now, chairman of the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation and the mayor of Morant Bay has his hands full. I think I will talk to the NWA about that river train over there. So the road is kind of impossible to pass right now over there in part. So as soon as I get to the work agency, we try to solve that problem for the people.